Magandang gabi. Good evening. Ako po si Hil Katya. Isa po kong uh, on-call na healing and transformation coach mula sa RCWFI. Ang mga modalities po ang ginagamit ko ay scalar prana healing sa energy modality, neurolinguistic programming, family constellation, appreciative inquiry, at Ignatian spiritual direction. So sa akin po mga talk at meditations, pinagpapagsama ko po yung mga modalities na yan. Energy healing, uh, neurolinguistic programming, family constellation, at spiritual direction. Kaya nga po sa during the meditation, I, I really strongly advise na gamitin nyo po yung mga video na to. Kasi haba po nga nagme-meditate tayo, ginagamitan ko po yung nung mga meditation ng mga energy healing techniques. Kaya minsan kapag nanonood po kayo, parang napapansin nyo po na kumukumpas-kumpas yung kamay ko. Ito po yung mga energy healing techniques na ginagawa ko po para sa inyo. Okay? So, ngayong gabi po, ang pag-uusapan natin ay healing our past. Now, why is this important? Uh, what's the importance of this topic? Bakit ba mahalaga itong topic na to? Now, sa experience ko po kasi when I am healing other people, whether it's a physical disease or a financial difficulty, relationship issues or personal concerns, laging merong konektado connections sa past eh. So, all these problems always have a connection with our past. Now, if we want to heal those problems or those concerns, we really need to heal our past. You have to, we have to deal with our past. Ngayon, ano pa yung dynamics na yun? Ito po siguro, no? Many life issues are rooted in beliefs formed from childhood experiences. So, ang unang-una po siguro dito, ang pinakamahalaga maintindihan natin is yung concept ng beliefs. Eh. So, kasi lahat naman ng all our lifestyle, habits, decisions, choices, and actions are all, always rooted in beliefs. And like for example, lifestyle. Nakakasakit ka because of a wrong lifestyle, because of the wrong food that you eat, lack of sleep, and they are lifestyle issues eh. And those lifestyle issues, are more, most of them are really based on beliefs. Kung naniniwala ka na kaya ng katawan mo na, na kumain ng mga ganito, o kaya ng katawan mo na hindi ka matulog ng, ng husto, so, gagawin mo yon At ang problema doon, yung effect nun, you will become sick. So, to a certain extent, your belief has, a, has an effect kasi on your lifestyle. Even sa mga reactions mo or mga decisions mo concerning, let's say, financial matter, relational matters. Ganon din yan eh. It's, uh, you react to a certain person, you do something to a person, you say something to a person because of your belief eh. So, at yung effect ng belief na yan are two ways. One is, you, the way you interpret yung, or the way you interpret what's happening around you is filtered by your belief state. So, nakita mo yung isang pangyayari, o kaya nakita mo yung isang action, yung ginagawa sa sinasabi sa isang tao. Yung interpretation mo nun is condition ng beliefs mo. So, kung may belief ka na itong tao ito ay pasaway, may masamang intention sa akin, so, ano magiging interpretation mo? So, siyempre negatively. At correspondingly, your reaction to the other person will also be negative. So, yun yung isang aspeto. Our beliefs filter the way we interpret or give meaning to our experiences. The second effect ng belief kasi is our belief kasi infuse the or determine the standards and criteria we use in making decisions and choices. Eh. So if we believe that this is the right criteria, that this is the right standards, so yung actions and decisions natin will be this way, di ba? Kasi nga, yung belief mo on what should be right, on what should be the right thing to do, will affect the way you, you decide or the way you choose. So belief affect the standards and criteria. So yung two things, ano? Belief filters the way we interpret or give meaning to our experiences. And second, our beliefs determine the criteria and the standards that we use in making decisions and choices. 
Ngayon, ang nakatakot kasi nito, many of those beliefs are unconscious. So, we are making decisions based on unconscious beliefs. At minsan yan, the, uh, normally, yung mga decision choices niyan, especially yung mga reactions, are automatic. Kasi nga, uh, normally naman kasi, yung, yung decisions natin, actions natin, na our, especially our reactions, are already based on subconscious programming or conditioning. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga beliefs na yan is naandun na sa subconscious natin. And to a certain extent, because nasa subconscious na natin, minsan, yung mga reactions natin are all already automatic. So, yun yung importance ng belief. Ano? So, siguro kailangan natin mas maintindihan pa yung belief. So, yung mga, ano ba itong mga belief na nakaka-affect na, na nakaka doon sa ating buhay? So, what are those beliefs? Beliefs about uh, our, our beliefs about life, our beliefs about the world around us, our beliefs about relationships, our beliefs about activities. And most of those beliefs are really formed from experiences. So, saan ba nanggagaling yung beliefs? So, may belief ka halimbawa na ganito ang mga tao, mga pasaway yan. Hindi mo, hindi mo pakakatiwala yung mga tao na yan. Saan nanggaling yung belief na yan? Normally, yung belief na yan nanggaling sa previous experience natin. Dahil nagkaroon tayo ng isang experience na yung isang tao ay nasinaktan tayo ng isang tao, that this kind of people hurt us, so we form a belief that this kind of people is not good. It's not good for our... It's not good to be with. So that means, because of our experiences, we create or form belief. So ang foundation ng belief ay experience. Pero ang isang critical na dapat maintindihan natin dito is uh, yung belief about the self. If there is any any belief that is really very critical in determining what will happen in our life is our belief about ourselves. Yung ating identity. Bakit? Kasi alam mo, sa, sa experience ko at sa observation ko, mostly kasi the, what we believe on our, about ourselves will influence our beliefs about the world, about life, about relationships, about activities. So, kung hindi maganda ang pagtingin ko sa aking sarili, hindi rin magiging maganda ang pagtingin ko sa mundo, sa mga relationships, sa mga activities. Or, pero pag maganda naman, my, my identity is good, ang pagtingin ko sa sarili ko ay maganda. Yung magandang pagtingin ko sa sarili ko will, will affect the way I look at others. So, dahil maganda ang tingin ko sa sarili ko, magiging maganda rin ang tingin ko sa, sa mundo sa buhay, sa relationships, sa mga gawain. Kaya at the end of the day, ang pinaka-foundation talaga is yung identity, eh, yung belief about ourselves. Okay. Pero itong pinakang critical, yung belief about ourselves, yung identity about, about ourselves, is formed during our childhood. As we judge ourselves in traumatic or wounding experience. So, ibig sabihin, yung identity talaga natin, much of our identity, ay nabuo yan ng ating kabataan during a traumatic or wounding experience. At yun yung ipapaliwanag ko later on. At yung identity na yan na nabuo ng bata ka, nagiging pattern yan eh, that will persist hindi lang nung nakaraan, but even now and up to the future. In, in the quantum field kasi, there's no past, there's no present, there's no future. So kung ano yung mga childhood patterns na na-establish, especially during the traumatic or wounding experience, hindi lang yan nasa past mo. It is still living in the present and in the future. Parang yung, yung pattern na yan, yung script na yan, yung drama na yan, will be a continuing reality for us. At yung, yung pattern na yan, will multiply and will surface sa lahat ng aspeto ng ating buhay. So, yung, yung traumatic experience na yan, yung paano ka nag-react, yan din ang magiging pattern mo sa, sa trabaho, sa mga kaibigan mo, sa family relationships mo. Kaya ganun ka, ka, ka mahalag kahalaga na maintindihan natin, paano ba nabubuo yung identity? Kasi, 
pag naiintindihan natin kung paano nabubuo yung identity natin sa wounding experience natin, doon natin siya mahihil. So, yung second point natin dito is this. Transforming life issues requires healing the original experience. So, ganun kahalaga talaga na puntahan natin yung wounding experience, yung traumatic experience. Kasi ito, dito, ito yung nagde-determine talaga ng reality natin, ng buhay natin, ng sitwasyon natin for now. Pero uh, ano ba yung nangyayari? Siguro kailangan maintindihan natin, ano ba nangyayari? So, no, no, normally yung identity natin, nabubuo na yan noong around 3 to 4 years old tayo. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung mga traumatic or wounding experience natin noong 3 to 4 years old, dyan sa experience na yan, na-define yung identity natin. So, paano ba na-define yung identity natin during 3 or 4 years old tayo? So, during that time, syempre, yung isang reality ang na-experience ng bata, just imagine mo, 3 to 4 years old ka. Ang isang number one na reality dyan is, paano ba natin na-experience yung environment natin? When we are 3 to 4 years old, how are we experiencing our environment? And definitely, most of the time, yung experience natin sa environment na yan is, the environment is uncontrollable. Hindi natin control yung external environment natin. Diba? Yung mga tao nasa labas natin, yung mga pangyayari sa labas natin, hindi natin control yan. Eh. Hindi yan control ng 3 to 4 years old na bata. So, paano nyo may experience yung external environment na yan? Okay, kung, kung, kung yung mga magulang mo ay talagang very loving, very old, so, siyempre, mararanasan niya yung environment as something warm, protective, and safe. Pero honestly, yung bang, may, mang, may mga parents pa natin, perfect. At saka ba sa lahat ng moment, perfect yung parents natin. At yung parents natin na andon kasama natin at every moment ng childhood natin. Siyempre, hindi. So, there will be moments during our childhood na talagang hindi natin may experience yung warm, loving, kind, and caring environment. So, anong, 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 in, in some cases, kung hindi man most of the time, but in some cases, in many cases, ano yung may experience on 3 to 4 years old na bata? Doon sa environment niya. Number one, indifferent. Minsan nagugutom yung 3 to 4 years old na bata, iiyak siya. Then, anong mararanasan niya? Lalo na kung busy yung magulang, di ba? O busy yung yaya, busy yung magulang. Kahit iyak na yan siya ng iyak, 5 minutes na siyang naiyak, walang sumasagot sa kanya. So, Anong may experience yung bata? So, yung, yung environment para sa bata, indifferent, apathetic yung environment, di ba? Minsan, ano naman na may experience ng bata doon sa environment niya? Kung halimbawa, lalo na yung kung umiiyak siya, nagagalit yung mga magulang, sinisigawan siya, tahan ka, tahan ka, tahan ka. So, ano may experience yung bata sa environment? Siyempre, may experience siya sa environment, something hostile and dangerous, di ba? So, just isipin mo, kung ikaw yung nasa 3 to 4 years old ka, na ito yung nararanasan mo. So, anong mararamdaman ng bata? Anong iisipin ng bata? Siyempre, iisipin niya na hostile yung environment. At ang mahalaga nito, dahil nga yung hostile lang ang environment, indifferent yung environment, anong mararamdaman niya at iisipin niya sa kanyang sarili? So, anong, mara- anong iisipin niya? So, hindi pala ako mahalaga. I don't have the right to exist. Hindi pala ako gusto ng aking mga magulang. Hindi pala ako mahal ng aking mga magulang. At anong mararamdaman ng bata? Siyempre, yung, yung terror, di ba? Na hindi na pinapababayaan ka. So, yung, minsan, yung terror, yung helplessness, o yung hopelessness, o yung sadness, di ba? So, yun yung mararamdaman ng bata. Helplessness, worthlessness, help, hopelessness, sadness, grief. So, in the midst of this hostile, dangerous, indifferent environment, Ang, ang mararamdaman ng bata at iisip ng mararamdaman ng bata is helplessness, hopelessness, uh, worthlessness, grief. At anong iisipin niya sa kanyang sarili? Iisipin niya sa kanyang sarili na hindi pala siya mahalaga. Na hindi pala, hindi pala ako mahalaga. I don't have the right to exist. At yun, 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 yun yung thought na yun, yung feeling na yun. Siyempre, kung ikaw pong mararanasan mo ngayon, siyempre you want to avoid it. Kasi kapag patuloy mong mararamdaman yung feeling ng helplessness na yan, ng hopelessness na yan, eh mamatay ka, di ba? 
So kaya ikaw, ang, ang natural reaction ng isang tao would be to create defenses. You have to cope, you have to survive. At paano magso-survive yung bata in, 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 with that kind of experience and feeling? So magkikreate siya ng false ego. Magkikreate siya ng false ego na kung saan uh, na, natutulong sa kanya to survive and cope. So like for example, uh, ako, uh, halimbawa, na-experience na ko during that moment, halimbawa, I am worthless. So, yung feeling ng worthlessness. So, syempre, ay, gusto kong layuan yun. Gusto kong takasan yun. I want to move away from it. So, how, what, how will I cope? How will I survive? So, I will create uh, uh, a false ego, a false self na I am special. So, ako yung mahalaga. I'm special. Na paano ko i-express yung aking pagiging special? Number one. Pwede ko siyang i-express na, ah, special ko yung ibang tao dyan, common yan. So, hindi mahalaga sa akin yan. Ako, special ako. So, I will withdraw. So, talaga, I will become self-sufficient kasi yung iba naman dyan, ordinary lang yan. Eh. So, hindi ko kailangan yan. I'm special. So, ang yung mga reaction na yan is to withdraw. Yung ibang tao naman, ako, special yun. So, i-assert niya, magiging aggressive sila. Hindi, kayo, ordinary lang. Kayo, special ako. Kaya ako dapat ang bida dyan sa mga situations. Kaya yung may makakilala kayo dyan, kaya yung sarili nyo, makakilala nyo na talaga parang pabida sa lahat ng mga events, sa mga lahat ng mga activities. Kung tutuusin mo, dahil nga, meron silang false ego o false self na they want to be, to feel special. At ihigit nila ang sarili nila. Saan nanggagaling yun? Kasi nanggagaling yun talaga kung uukatin mo dun sa feeling ng worthlessness. So para maiwasan nila yun, they, they will think and feel to become special, so talagang magiging aggressive sila. I-assert, i-insert na sarili na sa mga situations na ganyan. So, so, so yun ang critical doon eh, di ba? So, so ang problema na yan, yung, yung, yung feeling na yan talaga is, yan yung magiging identity mo. Diba? So kaya mangyayari dyan talaga is, asa ka sa palang maintindihan natin yan, tayo kasi meron tayong tatlong utak. Ano yung three brains natin? Our first brain na unang nahuhubog is yung ating reptilian brain. Yung reptilian brain na yan, yan yung brain natin that is that is really helps us to survive. So yun yung brain na may survive, na survival mode na kapag when we, when the, we are threatened, our reptilian brain kicks in so that we will either fight or flee. Okay? So yan ang unang nabubuo. Yung ating second brain is yung tinatawag na mammalian brain. So, ito yung uh, brain natin na, na katulad ng mga mammals, sa mga apes, at pwede itong medyo belonging. And I will explain this to you uh, siguro two weeks from now when we discuss family systems. Ang third brain natin is yung human brain. Ito talaga yung ating thinking brain na. Ngayon, nung, nung bata ka pa, ano talaga yung brain na nag-ooperate sa'yo? Ang nag-ooperate sa'yo yung brain, yung reptilian brain mo. Kaya nga nasa survival mode ka dyan. Eh. So, kung yung trauma mo, di ba, na yung nga, sa harap ng threatening environment that you are feeling helpless and worthless. So, uh, uh, para madepensahan yung sarili mo, you create a false ego of being special. Yang program na yan, yan ang nai-embed sa reptilian brain. At ang gagawin ng reptilian brain mo, laging idadanggal sa yung pattern na yan. So, ibig sabihin, oh, ito ha, nung, nung childhood mo, meron kang experience na naging worthless ka. Na survive mo yung feeling of worthlessness kasi create mo yung ego na special ka. Ngayon, para lagi mong maiwasan yung feeling na yan, talaga dapat maging yung false ego mo i-assert mo. Talagang palabasin mo. You strengthen your false ego so that you will be you will feel special, you will survive and you will avoid this feeling of worthlessness. That's the programming doon sa iyong reptilian brain. So, kaya nga yung reptilian brain mo is a, a, fear progra- a, a fear programming na talagang laging itatanggal sa'yo yung, yung, yung experience mo of helplessness. So, tuloy na re-reinforce yung false ego mo of being special para to allow you to protect you and to, to survive. Okay? So, up, ang problema, yung pattern na yan, hindi lang naman nadadala mo yan sa paglaki mo and in all situations so that when you are placed in a situation that is threatening that pattern will kick in okay 
So that's why we really need to understand ourselves. Eh? When we understand, uh, when we understand ourselves, that's the only time that we can heal ourselves. Okay. So paano ba natin iheal yung sarili natin? So, healing the original experience requires acknowledgement, reframing, and reimprinting. Okay. So, unang-una siguro dito, yung unang-unang that we need to understand is the, the importance of feelings and emotions in uncovering this pattern. So, essentially, yung pattern na yan is emotion-laden. So, yung, yung, yung pattern na yan is a, is a thinking pattern. Eh. Pero yung thinking pattern na yan is... Uh, nababalo siya ng feeling. At ano yung feeling? Yung tiyata- sa neuro-linguistic programming, yung tiyatawag niya ating baseline state. So, yung feeling of worthlessness, helplessness, uh, helplessness, hopelessness, grief, and sadness, yan yung mga baseline state o baseline feeling. So, every moment na ma-feel mo yan, biglang i-recall niya yung memory, i-recall niya yung pattern. Okay? So, kaya para maintindihan mo, Kung ano para ma- ma- ma-uncover mo, ma-articulate mo yung original experience, normally sa neurolinguistic programming, sa NLP, ang starting point namin is yung feeling o yung emotion. Kaya normally, ang technique dito, which is kagawin na din natin mamaya, ipaparecall sa iyo yung, yung, yung experience mo, yung emotions mo. Umbawa, meron kang isang problema na gusto mong i-resolve, gusto mong ma- ma-heal or resolve. Ang mga nangyari nito is ipaparecall sa iyo yung feeling and emotion. So, i-recall mo muna yung event, yung experience, or yung problem mo, and then biglang magpo-focus ko ngayon doon sa feeling or emotion. And once aware ka na doon sa feeling and emotion, gagamitin mo yung guide to go back into your past, into your childhood at the earliest moment that you feel the same way. Kasi ano bang, ba, bakit ba ganun? Kasi, anong, kasi normally kasi, the, the way we, we operate, uh, di ba, y- yung memory natin are really connected with the emotions eh. Of, of course, it's also connected with our conscious mind. Na when we are asked to to recall a certain experience, minsan, using our in, uh, conscious mind, we can recall. Pero ang pinakamatindi talaga is yung emotions. Kasi kapag na, when you, bawa, when you are, you receive a stimuli, and then you will feel something to the stimuli, yung emotion na yan will immediately harness yung subconscious mo eh. So even without you, even without you becoming conscious, uh, the, the subconscious is already processing the stimuli and recalling the patterns the, that is connected with the emotions being triggered. Okay. So, kaya yung subconscious mo, connecta, yung emotions mo, very much connected sa subconscious mo. Eh. So, that's why when, when our emotions are, when we recall an emotions, and, and sometimes, in most of the cases, the unconscious memory, the unconscious pattern is also being recalled. That's why, kung gusto mo talaga ma-uncover or ma-articulate yung unconscious pattern na yan, go back to your emotion, yung emotion na trigger, and then really consciously ask yourself talagang ano ba go back to the earliest experience that you feel the same way kasi ang dynamics din pala nito para nakakaroon yun ng clusters of memories and emotions eh. meaning na memories exhibiting the same emotions will somehow will be clustered kaya kapag may isang experience may isang joyful experience Normally, pag nagkaroon ka ng joyful experience at the present moment, biglang marerecall mo na rin all your, memory, all, all your previous experiences and memories generating the same joyful, uh, j- joyful emotion. Ganun na yung bawa doon sa fear. So, kapag we are feeling fearful at this present moment, ang mangyayari, irerecall din niya, tatahitahiin niya all your previous memories, all your previous experience, all your previous patterns that is also exhibiting the same quality of fear. So, ganun yan. So, kaya nga, when, when, you, when you use the emotion as an anchor, your mind will help you, will send you, will direct you to the original experience. Pero dito, ang gagawin natin sa meditation natin mamaya, kasi nga, we are dealing with that conscious, 
we will be asking the Lord Jesus to really help us to enlighten us, to tell us, to show us ano ba yung original experience, yung traumatic experience or wounding experience that generated this identity, that generated this pattern. So that with the, with the help of the Lord Jesus, mas magiging malinaw kung ano ba talaga yung dapat natin i-heal. Ngayon, once we are aware of this original experience, paano naman natin i-heal yan? Uh, i-heal natin yan, number one, is we have to acknowledge it. Siyempre, kailangan natin i-acknowledge. Uh, acknowledgement is not necessarily acceptance. Ha? Just, just uh, acknowledging that it is there. You do not need to judge. Okay, ito, ito siguro, ito, ito mahalaga na rin at this point, pag-usapan natin. Yung pattern ba na yan, masama? Masama ba yung false ego? No, para bang iisipin mo, napakasama siya kasi ito yung mga negative behavior niya, gene-generate niya sa'yo, di ba? Halimbawa, kung masyado kang assertive, na mas na aggressive, madami kang tao na sasaktan, so sasabihin mo yung false ego na yan, masama. Sa neurolinguistic programming, ang isang prinsipyo doon na uh, ano is, all parts, all our parts, every parts of us are equal, uh, is equal and important. Mahalaga ang bawat bahagi ng ating buhay. So kahit yung false ego na yan, may value siya, mahalaga siya. Bakit? Ano yung kahalagahan ng false ego na yan? Sa tingin ninyo, kung wala yung false ego na yan, kung wala yung mechanism na yan, ano mangyayari dun sa 3 to 4 years old na bata? Sa tingin mo ba magsusurvive yung bata na yan kung hindi siya nag-create ng, ng false ego? Siyempre, hindi. That false ego helped the child survive. Diba? So, yun yung value niya. Kaya nga sa neurolinguistic programming, ang isang, uh, isang prinsipyo namin doon, uh, every part of us is important and every part has a positive intention for us. Bawat bahagi ng sarili natin ay may magandang intention para sa atin. At ang mahalaga nito is hanapin natin yung magandang intention para sa atin ng mga bahagi na yan. At yung false ego niyan, ano yung positive intention niya sa atin? It's to protect us, to help us survive. <laughs> kung wala yung false ego na yan, kung hindi niya kinaake yung self na special siya, hindi magsusurvive yung bata, mamamatay yan, maniwala kayo. So, ganun siya kahalaga. Kasi pre-protectahan niya at ginagawa niyang safe yung childhood. And we need to affirm that. We need to affirm the positive intention of that false ego. Now, once we have affirmed the positive intention of that false ego, and then that's the only time that we can work with the, with the, with that part of ourselves to look for other ways to meet that positive intention. So, ibig sabihin, we affirm the intention of protecting and keeping us safe, but we need to look for other methods or other approaches of making us safe and survive. So that means, if in this na you are going to be aggressive and to make yourself special or withdrawing to make yourself special, then probably you can approach or you can consider other methods, other approach of really keeping you safe and protected. Probably, and you are, since you are already an adult, so probably instead of uh, relying on your false ego, you can be more open. You can be more accepting. You can really appre appreciate your giftedness. You can appreciate your own worth. And, and with that, hindi mo na kailangang maglikha o mabuhay ng may maskara, di ba? That you can really be authentic. So yun ang mahalaga when you acknowledge. You acknowledge the positive intention of those false ego. And essentially, yung positive intention na yun is keeping you safe and helping you to survive. Ang second yan is reframing and re-imprinting. Yung re reframing which I have already discussed, i reframe mo siya na ibig sabihin, yung may positive intention yung, yung false ego na yan. At yung re-imprinting is you will find para bang yung, yung i-re-reinterpret mo, i -re reframe mo yung, yung experience. Na dati, yung, yung experience nung 3 to 4 years old ka, na dati threatened ka, so you are feeling helpless and you are feeling worthless, Eh, nag ngayon, nag-survive ka naman, di ba? At maaari ngayon, you are very successful as a professional. So, ibig sabihin, naging successful yung, yung bata, di ba? So, with those information, 
na naging successful ka, that you're able to survive. So, yung uh, i imprint mo ngayon. So, imbis na negative, yung imprinting mo na masya, yung imbis na, imbis na feeling of helplessness or worthlessness yung nakabalot nun sa memory or sa original experience, i-reinterpret mo siya, i-reframe mo siya na mapapaltan yung feeling. Now, from that, dahil nag-survive ka, then it, it is okay. Alam mo yung isang konektado dito para sa maging simple, yung sa transactional analysis. So, parang pinakututu summarize it, at the foundation kasi we are not okay. I am not okay. Yun yung baseline feeling mo. So, we need to re-imprint, to reframe, reinterpret, so that yung feeling mo na I am not okay will be changed to I am okay. At kapag naging uh, I am okay ka na doon sa core mo, that will change yung pattern and with the change pattern, magi mas magiging effective ka sa relationships mo, sa financial activities mo, even sa physical health mo. Okay? So yun yung talagang importante. That's why ang pinakang method na, we go to the original experience, appreciate the positive intention, and then at the end of the day, provide information to that younger you na naging okay siya. Okay? Naging okay siya, naging successful siya, na pwede na siyang mag-let go and change the way to feel those experience na yun. Okay. So, ano ba magiging ano natin, meditation natin to, to do this? So, magiging meditation natin to do this, number one is of course, we will start with to Abide in the Holy Spirit. So, we will uh, purify the blocks in opening our spiritual senses. Mahalaga to kasi we need to open the spiritual senses because we will need to have a dialogue with Jesus and to really appreciate and to, to know kung ano yung nasa unconsciousness natin. Now, after that, ito yung pinakang, uh, ano na talaga, we will engage with a dialogue with Jesus. So, paano natin gagawin to? So, we will imagine the Lord Jesus sitting or standing beside us and then habang nasa, ano, ano natin siya, sasabi natin siya, we will ask the Lord Jesus to, for divine light. Okay, now, what we will do now is, after asking for the divine light, is uh, we will recall the experience that we want to be solved. So think of a difficult situation that you are in now, a problem that you are in now, that you want to be resolved in this meditation. Then once you have it, um, we will ask the Lord Jesus, uh, and we will imagine the Lord Jesus touching our head, enlightening us. And we will ask the Lord Jesus to, to show us the original experience that generated. So, iisipin natin yung original emotion. And then we will go into our the earliest moment in our life that we experience the same emotion. Again, I will repeat this. We will recall a difficult challenge that we want to be healed. And after recalling it, we will notice and focus on the feeling and emotion surrounding it. And then with that, with the help of the Lord Jesus, we will go back to the earliest moment in our life. Mas maganda talaga yung early childhood natin. Probably around to three, to 3 to 4 years old. That is having the same feelings and emotion. Now, just allow that image to come out in your mind. And don't question. Huwag mo na questionin. Just allow. Kung ano yung lumabas sa isip mo na image, just be aware and just notice. Now, kapag lumabas na yung image na yan, what we will do is, uh, let's imagine na merong TV screen sa harap natin. LCD, malaki sa harap natin. And then we will project that image dun sa screen na yon. So, doon sa screen na yon nakikita natin yung ating sarili. Yung younger version natin. Yung younger you. That is experiencing the original experience. Ngayon, oras na naandun na sa TV, sa harap natin, yung, yung town na yan, titingnan muna natin, ano ba yung nararanasan niya? Ano ba yung nangyari? Sino ba yung mga kasama dyan doon sa experience na yan? Okay? So, we will look at it. We will look at ourselves, our younger, our, we will look at your younger you experiencing an event with certain people. Now, we will notice how that person is feeling 
And then I will ask you to step inside that younger you to be aware and notice what that younger you is feeling and thinking. Sa pagpasok mo sa consciousness ng younger you, you will feel what she is feeling and you will think what she is thinking. Okay? Para mas maging aware ka. And then nalabas tayo, palalabas natin sa, nalabas tayo doon sa younger you. And then we will ask the Lord Jesus for healing, to heal that younger you. So what we will, uh, we will ask you to visualize later is, the Lord Jesus will go inside the TV and will embrace the younger you with love. And while the Lord Jesus is embracing you, the younger you with love, uh, I will ask you to listen to what the Lord Jesus will say to the younger you. Okay? And then after that, I will ask you to visualize a light, a beam of light coming from the sacred heart of Jesus, feeling your, the, the heart of the younger you, the mind of the younger you, the whole body of the younger you, and the whole spirit of the younger you. And kapag na feel na ng light uh, yung younger you, I will ask the light to disintegrate all, all thoughts and feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness. Okay? And then after burning or eliminating all those <laughs> negative feelings, I will ask now the Lord Jesus to fill you with divine light, divine hope, divine courage, divine confidence, divine trust. Feeling the heart, mind, body, and being of the younger you. Okay? And then you will notice how the younger you is changing. Kung ano ba yung nagbabago dun sa younger you mo. And then after that, I will ask you to step inside the younger you and feel kung anong nararamdaman niya. If feel mo yung, yung divine love, divine courage, divine confidence. And kapag nararamdaman mo yun, you will, yung younger you mo will grow into you. Kung ano, ano ka ngayon. So you become, the younger you becomes you right now. And you will feel being embraced by the Lord Jesus with love. And then I will ask you to listen to, the, to what the Lord Jesus is saying to you. Kung ano sinabi niya sa younger you, the Lord Jesus will also say to you now. And then after that, I will ask you to feel the divine love, the divine hope, courage, confidence uh, that is coming from the Lord Jesus and feeding your heart. And after that, we will end the meditation. Okay? So, yun yung magiging meditation natin ngayon. Okay. So, again, uh, posture. So, don't lean on your chair. Hanggat maaari, sit around three-fourth of the chair. Uh, make your back straight. Mahalaga na tuwid yung spinal column so that the energy will flow. Your, uh, your palms up so that you will be more receptive. And then the tip of your tongue will be touching the palate. And then uh, just breathe naturally. And when you breathe in, expand your abdomen. When you breathe out, contract the abdomen. And then close your eyes. So let us now close our eyes as we begin the meditation. Now just breathe naturally. <laughs> Inhale. Expand the abdomen. Exhale. Contract the abdomen. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we humbly invoke that you send us your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit may open our spiritual senses, that we may be able to understand the original experience that are causing our present problems. Lord God, we humbly invoke that you send us your, your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, my healer, help us know the original experience and to help us heal that original experience. Lord God, we ask you this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now imagine the Holy Spirit in the form of a, of a tongue of fire coming down to you. The Holy Spirit 
as a ball of divine fire is now surrounding and enveloping you. Allow the Holy Spirit to burn everything that will prevent you from opening your spiritual senses. Mentally say, I release everything that will prevent me from opening my spiritual senses. Mentally say, I allow the Holy Spirit to burn everything that will prevent me from opening my spiritual senses. Mentally say, I allow the Holy Spirit to open my spiritual senses now. Now imagine the Lord Jesus is beside you. Ask the Lord Jesus to be, to be with you to sit or stand beside you. Now ask the Lord Jesus for divine light. See the Lord Jesus extending his arm towards your head and filling you with divine light, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mentally say, I accept the divine light, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the Lord Jesus now. Now recall a difficult situation that you want to be healed. It could be a physical illness, a psychological issue, financial difficulty, relationship challenge, any personal concern that you want to be healed. Now as you recall the experience, the challenge, the situation, be aware and notice the feeling and emotion associated with the situation. Focus on the emotion, focus on the feeling. As you are focused on the feeling and emotion, imagine the Lord Jesus again touching your, your head and ask the Lord Jesus to reveal to you the original experience, the original pattern causing this. Now with the feeling and emotion as your guide, go back to the earliest moment in which you felt the same feeling and emotion. While you are becoming aware of the feeling and emotion, go back to the earliest moment when you are three to four years old as much as possible in which you experience the same feeling and emotion. Ask the Lord Jesus to reveal to you the original experience. Now as you become aware 
of the original experience, bring it to a TV screen in front of you. See the younger you in front of you in the TV screen, on the TV screen. See the people involved, see what is happening. So you are watching your younger you on the TV screen. You are seeing the people, the event, and the situation. And as you are seeing the situation, notice how the, what's the feeling of the younger you. What does he feel? Or what does he, or, or what's the younger you feeling? Now step inside the younger you. Let your consciousness move inside the consciousness of the younger you. Step inside the younger you. And be aware of what the younger you is feeling and thinking. Be aware and notice what the younger you is feeling and thinking. Load the feeling, load the thinking, the thought. Now step inside the younger you with the knowledge of what the younger you is feeling and thinking. Now ask the Lord Jesus now to heal that younger you. So talk to the Lord Jesus and tell the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please heal my younger me. And after telling it to the Lord Jesus, see the Lord Jesus stepping inside the TV screen. See the Lord Jesus embracing the younger you. Embracing the younger you with love. So you are seeing the Lord Jesus embracing the younger you with love. And now listen to what the Lord Jesus is telling the younger you. Listen closely to what the Lord Jesus is telling the younger you to help heal and transform the younger you. Listen to the Lord Jesus telling the younger you that in that moment the Lord Jesus loves you, takes care of you, provides for you, is with you, caring for you, loving you. So listen to what the Lord Jesus is telling the younger you. Telling the younger you what the younger you needs to know. Telling the younger you what he needs to know, what is helpful for the younger you to know. So listen to the Lord Jesus telling the younger you what is helpful to the younger you, what is useful to the younger you. And as you are listening to the younger you, to the Lord Jesus, you are feeling the loving embrace. The, uh, the, the Lord Jesus is embracing the younger you. Now see the Lord Jesus, the heart of Jesus. There is now the light coming from the Lord, the heart of the Lord Jesus, going to the heart of the younger you. So the heart, the light from the young, the 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 light from the heart of the Lord Jesus is feeling the heart of the younger you, feeling the mind of the younger you, feeling the body of the younger you, and feeling the spirit of the younger you.
Now the younger you is now being filled with the divine light from the heart of Jesus. And let the divine light disintegrate, dissolves and burn all thoughts and feelings of helplessness, worthlessness, hopelessness, sadness, grief, depression, now. See the divine light disintegrating all thoughts and feelings of helplessness, worthlessness, hopelessness, sadness, grief, and depression of the younger you. Now, let the light, the divine light from the heart of Jesus, fill, your, fill the mind, heart, being, spirit of the younger you with divine love, divine hope, divine confidence, divine courage, and divine trust. Feel the light, the divine light from the heart of Jesus, feeling the heart, mind, body, spirit, and being of the younger you with divine love, Divine hope, divine courage, divine confidence, and divine trust. Now as the younger you is now filled with divine love, divine Courage, divine hope, divine confidence, divine trust. Notice what the younger you is feeling now. Look at his look at his or her face. What might she be feeling or what might he be feeling now? As you look at her face, at his face of the younger you. Now I want you now to step inside the younger you and as you step inside the younger you feel the divine love, the divine hope, the divine confidence, divine courage and the divine trust that the younger you is feeling. Feel it now. Feel what your younger you is feeling and thinking now. Now filled, filled with divine love, divine hope, divine courage, divine confidence, and divine trust. Let your younger you grow now into you. Let your younger you now grow into you so that your younger you is you now. So you are now, your younger you is you now at your present age. And as you are now, Feel the loving embrace of the Lord Jesus. That you are now being embraced with the Lord Jesus with love. Feel the loving embrace of the Lord Jesus. And again, listen to what the Lord Jesus has said to the younger you. The Lord Jesus is repeating His message to you now. What the Lord Jesus has said to the younger you, the Lord Jesus is now saying it to you now. So listen to the Lord Jesus repeating the message with love, with kindness. Listen to the Lord Jesus with love. And as you are listening to the Lord Jesus with love, feel yourself being filled 
with the divine love, divine courage, divine confidence, divine hope, divine trust, divine healing, and divine forgiveness. Feel the divine light from the heart of Jesus filling your heart, your mind, your body, your being, your spirit with divine love, divine healing, divine forgiveness, divine courage, divine confidence, and divine trust. Savor and relish the love of God the love of Jesus towards you. Savor the loving embrace of the Lord Jesus, His love, His kindness, His healing and His forgiveness. Savor and relish the love and the healing for a couple of seconds. Okay, now say to the Lord, thank you to the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you for the healing and the transformation. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, we thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit, for opening our spiritual senses, that we may know the original experience affecting us. Thank you, Lord God, for sending us your Son, Jesus Christ, for healing our younger us, for the healing and trans the transformation. We thank you, Lord God, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now slowly return to your body right now. Feel your body, and at the count of three, you may slowly open your eyes. One, two, and three. Okay. Now, if you have any questions for clarification or and. Uh, or you want to share an experience, you can write on the on the comments so that I can see it and respond. Now, now I would like to remind you that uh, if you need some online uh, healing and transformation coaching, you can contact RCWFI, look for May, so that May can schedule the online coaching with, uh, with the online counselors. Now, for Saturday, our topic is co-creating the future that God desires for us. And uh, in, in the session on Saturday, uh, on Saturday, we will really understand uh, our nature as co-creators and what we really need to do to co-create with God. So I would like to invite you on, the, on, on our session again on Saturday. Now, there's a question here. Now, since uh, this is on every live stream, uh, you can uh, you can view this video again and again and again. It, it is this is this is posted on the uh, RCWFI site, so that you can even download it. But if you need to download it, you might probably need to use some uh, 
online FB downloader so that you can down download the video and uh, view it even without going to the RCW page. Okay? And I really advise that you use this video during the meditations because there are energy techniques that I have incorporated in this video uh, during our meditation. That's why you can see, diba, pakumpas kumpas ako. Because precisely when you are doing meditations, I am doing some energy techniques on you, to you. So that probably for you, you will experience some energy, right? Probably some heat or cold. And in some cases, your experience are really very vivid because to a certain extent, I am really energizing you, uh, healing you, sweeping away some negativities and also energizing you. So that, uh, and, and those techniques are somehow incorporated in the video. So I strongly suggest that you, you use this video when you want to do this meditation again. Okay? So if you don't have any more questions, okay, so I will see you on Saturday again. I hope you join us again. And uh, good night. God bless you. Take care. Be safe. Good night. See you on Saturday.